All right, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to go over this Boeing 737. The main cargo door was unlocked. This happened in Colombia on Saturday, August 21st, and no injuries were reported. The reason is unknown as of yet, but you can definitely tell like this could have been a lot worse. I believe it was just as a cargo um, aircraft, but still they, they dodged a bullet for sure. So this happened at Fabio Alberto Leon Bentley Airport. So this is in Colombia. And I like to kind of look at the map just to see where all these aircraft are flying and the different type of runways and the different type of fire trucks that they use. So it was a Boeing 737-200F, Aero Sucre. You can tell it's a 737 because this elongated fin here. At least that's how I can kind of tell. And then also it's a Boeing because it is V-shaped windows and then this pointy nose. And then here's my boys, the ARF boys, Aircraft Rescue Firefighters. I'm not too sure what truck they're using. They got the proximity gear on. And they're over here investigating this open door, probably checking with the pilot, making sure there's no injuries, any medical people needed any kind of help. So reminding me, working in Hawaii, this incident reminded me of the United Flight 811, which landed in Honolulu International Airport on February 24th, 1989, which actually the door came loose and ripped off while they're in flight. So this flight, which is documented well on the wonder channel shows the cargo door which ripped off over the pacific ocean just 15 minutes into the flight killing nine the hole in the side of the aircraft was much bigger than i had thought it would be even though we had seen television news real reports instead of a plug door that gets jammed into its frame as the aircraft pressurizes boeing opted for an outward opening door this allowed for more cargo space but was not fail-safe like the plug design. So Boeing built what they believed was a foolproof locking mechanism. What they do is they build in multiple redundancies to make sure the door is properly latched and does not open. So in 1989, this NTSB chief investigator is saying that they make these doors with dual redundancies, yet in 2021, we still have do doors that are flying with them coming undone. So I'm curious to see when they investigate this previous or this recent uh, incident, what could be the cause. Because you can see here, outward swinging, good for cargo space, but you're taking that chance that the pressurizing of the aircraft isn't helping the door be secured. And then here's the locking mechanisms. And then the pilot of that flight, Captain David Cronin, he just said, I prayed and then went to work. And he flew 22 minutes with a hole in that 747. And that hole was massive. And he saved 346 passengers and he landed that aircraft safely in Honolulu. He passed away sadly October 4th, 2010. So looking back at this aircraft, again, I'm curious to see maybe it, it wasn't secured well. Um, before it took off or is it some kind of electrical shortage like which what happened with flight 811 so anyone familiar with this 737 or these locking mechanisms or anyone that just has any ideas what you think might have happened if there's similarities please comment down the low uh, down below and we can discuss it if not please like and subscribe thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys next time